Hi, how are you everybody? My name is Jordi Cerdas, I'm from Costa Rica and I'm part of Touristico team with my other three colleagues, Monica Redondo, Maria Peralta and Carlos Alvarado. We are so excited to be part of this exposition. We have chosen topic number three, customer understanding in the case of tourism in Costa Rica. Hello, my name is Monica Redondo. I'm talking about the historical overview of the tourism development in Costa Rica. The evolution of tourism activity in Costa Rica is divided into four stages. The first stage was from 1821 to 1895. At this stage, the first tourists began to arrive in the country, mostly from Europe and United States. Interests in commerce and coffee plantations. As a result of the visit, the first hotel were created in San Jose the first capital of the country. The hotel had complementary service that they integrated into clubs with restaurants, bars, and lounge for various people. The second stage was from 1895 to 1955. In the second stage, Hotel One continues and Costa Rica trains implemented in the United States and Panama through brochures and magazine as a vacation and relation destination. The third stage was from 1955 to 1989. This stage was better for Costa Rican tourists. Seems there was a lot of tourists grown. The Costa Rica Tourism Institute is established in order to increase tourists in the country. For a state started from 1987, to 2007. This period is the one with the greatest impact in terms of the consolidation of the Costa Rican touring sector. Seems it manages to teach the country with differentiated product that promote nature, leisure, health, adventure, and cultural tourings in all the country province. This allowed Costa Rica to acquire a defined tourist image, which arounds interest in commercializing nationally and internationally what the country offered at the time. Hi, I'm Carlos Alvarado. I will talking about motivation before a pandemic. In 2014, FIFA World Cup Brazil, Costa Rica had understood participation remain among the eight best selection of this World Cup. This also helped to increase the international arrivals to the country, reflect the falling growth. Why people love to travel to Costa Rica? Some of the most important motivations are the geographical position of Costa Rica allows different microclimes to devolve in the theory. At the same time, thanks to the flora and fauna conservation police, Ecosystem services are provided that are used to meet different tourist needs in sustainable way. For this reason, tourist products that both nationals and foreigners enjoy in Costa Rica will be mentioned. Some and beach tourists. One of the great attractions of Costa Rica is the variety of beautiful beach on the Pacific and Atlantic coast. This place have white sands and crystal clear waters, which are visited by miles of people every year in shirts of fun and recreation that in coast offer to enjoy the sun and ways to relax it and escape from the stress of daily life. Accessible tourists on beach. For a long time, enjoy the beach was limited to people with reduced mobility. However, in Costa Rica, it began a sacrifice that did thanks to the fact Accessible Beats Initiativa has been created. This is because reactive ramps have been designed with the collection of plastic covers and generated by means of recycled plastic recycled plastic wood is manufactured with will replace wall weights and futures among other products that are used to create accessible space 
on the beach so the people with disabilities can enjoy them. So, year after year, Costa Rica obtains international renown for having attractive waves, a spectacular beach, and a unique landscape for the sport surfing. Sur World Cup has already been held in our territory. Visiting volcanoes. Costa Rica has a variety of volcanoes from activity to sleeping. The ability of access roads to them allow tourists to enjoy this geological attraction, for which I will brief talk about too. The Poas volcano. Its crater has a circular shape with a diameter of approximately 3 kilometers and its lagoon is acidic and hot. Turrialba Volcano The volcano has a three layered main craters that visitors can observe on their visit. Visitors can tour these craters will enjoy panoramic views from the summit. Finally, Bear watching. Costa Rica has around 900 species of resident and migratory birds found among highlands and low forests, as well as in swamps, rivers, and lakes. Given the natural wealth, the Costa Rica Tourism Institute lands the National Bear Road, and this road, 12 hot spots are identified through the National Territory for the Bear Washing. Hello, I'm Maria Jose and I'm going to talk a bit about more invasions during pandemic. Case of Costa Rica. One of the consequences of the pandemic in our country was the numbers, of course. As you saw before the pandemic, the numbers were getting high each year. I mean, like we were getting each year super good numbers. But as soon as the pandemic arrived, the numbers immediately went down. Uh, I mean, like, we had zero season for the first time in a long, long time. So it was, I mean, like, it is a hard time, of course. But immediately, I mean, like, immediately the people start, like, working or searching or uh, innovated to see how we can face this time. And I always said like in crisis, um, it's always also opportunities for new, for new motivations, for new uh, stuff to work, um, for new uh, things to do. So motivations, new motivations started to show up. So for example, I'm going to talk about three motivations that are like the most important uh, in our country or I mean like the first motivations that show up from the pandemic from since the pandemic started. The first one was the virtual tourism. As we know that uh, people uh, we couldn't uh, go out from home we should stay at home so people started to feel like they need to do something right they need to to they spend more time uh through the social media through websites and things like that so some companies as Oropopo, i highly recommend it um they started to bring tourism through their website so they started to share experience in a virtual mode through their website. So if you search Oropopo, um, you will find like different or different locations where they show you uh, the tropical forest, they show you um, the mangrove, they sh explain to you like or biological uh, or ecology how we work and also they have like a banana tours plantation and things like that so it was also uh, a very good way to travel because we were staying home 
and we of course <laughs> would like to travel we love to travel so uh, com some companies as our papa started to uh, bring this opportunity bring this uh, new way of work and, and also some museums start to uh, bring and to open virtual tours uh, to the museums but um, I highlighted recommend Oropapa if you want to search it in the website. On the other hand, due to international restrictions and as restrictions in our own country were decreasing, for us national tourism was increasing. So as I said before, in the middle of the crisis sometimes, or mostly of the time, new opportunities start to show up. Why? Because in Costa Rica tourism, mostly mostly of the tourist uh, people were international tourists. And what about national? It was a few people that travel in our own country. And why it's also so important to travel in our own country? Because it teaches you and it helps you to understand why you need to take care of your own beauty. Why? Because sometimes we don't see or as we live here, where maybe we are used to see the mountain. But then when you travel the mountain, you are like, oh my God, this is my country. <laughs> this is amazing. So as you can see, for example, uh, what I like and what I love, uh, I mean, like what I love of Costa Rica is that we have so many different places to go, so many uh, landscapes and we have beaches, we have rivers, uh, we have mountains, so, and also you don't need to spend like uh, two weeks, you can go and travel in one day or three days, so it's just amazing, I'm very proud of being Costa Rican, uh, I think and I believe also like we live in a paradise, <laughs> so national tourism started to increase and it was also very important because it helps to uh, the tourism sector to reopen to for the hotels, for the restaurants, for the national parks to reopen. And the first customer who we're going to be national people because the restrictions, the international restrictions, of course. So this opens to a new motivation of travel and also because people were staying at home for a long time. So they just want to go outside and the best and safest place it was open places so the new motivation started to show up the local tourism and also to increase this uh, the chairman the most important uh, organization in our country recognized some bloggers because also the bloggers had like a very important part here uh, most bloggers started to show up also to show up new places, uh, local places to visit and it helps also to promote a, not only the place but a also restaurants or also a enterprise. So it was also very important um, as many people started to, as I said before, is, is spend more time in social media so they started to, like to see these beautiful places and to say okay i want to go there too so it was it is very important i mean like it's a teamwork like each person put their own part to help the sector to restart again to reopen so this was like the second new motivation that show up and the last one but not least is digital nomad tourism. Costa Rica is bidding on digital nomad tourism. For this, the country is working on a lot of attraction towards them as they want to provide visas for uh, to stay longer, almost for a year or also for two years. Depends of the person and the case, but what is this new type of tourism or this new motivation uh, that is beginning to emerge? I mean, uh, there are so many people that used to travel and used to do this kind of tourism, but from now on, it's like 
emerging, like getting more important. Why? Because, uh, of course, international restrictions are de uh, decreasing, so people can see a potential in this new motivation as they can stay longer, right? And, well, who is these people? Well, digital nomads are experts, of course, in technology as they work from anywhere around the country, so they need technology, they need internet. <laughs> uh, they can combine tourism and work. So that's amazing to be, for example, in the morning working in front of the beach or in the pool <laughs> and then, or in the mountain. And then in the afternoon, you have free, you have time off. So you can go and meet uh, local people or meet the place. And also they can be dependent on a company or they can be freelance so they can manage their own time. So the attraction of this type of tourism uh, at this time that is essential actually, uh, it's because it allows a greater generation of foreign exchange because also they stay longer than a traditional tourist. For a way to say it, they, not, they don't stay like a week or two weeks. They stay like a month. They stay also sometimes a year. So it's really important. And also not only for the company, also for them. Like uh, some studies have said like they can bring like better results in their work like as they can manage their time or they can have been working in in real access places for a way to see it or in a places that they inspire them so it's i find it a like very great way to to do tourism <laughs> to be working and then you can travel at the same time so it's just amazing and yes so these have been like the three uh, new motivations during pandemic. Um, stay safe, everyone, and thank you very much. As my partners explained before, tourism in our country and around the world have had to start an innovation process to develop new products according to the new motivations. Most of them head to head with technology and digital material development. These processes are not available to everyone immersed in this activity. That's why the government in Costa Rica promotes the citizens to realize local tourism, visiting communities, buying local products, low rates offers, exoneration taxes for tourism activities, and others. Today we have as a country protected wildlife areas, waterfalls, volcanoes, beaches, tours, nature immersions, captured in 3D quality. We also come with COVID-free protocol that is used in all tourism places. I mean, every hotel, food court, transportation service, and more. This protocol allowed to us to offer a secure environment to practice tourism. Despite with all the changes and protocols, we as a Costa Ricans still have our charisma and Pura Vida style to share with everyone who would like to visit us. Come and visit Costa Rica. We promise that you will fall in love with our nation and services.